This was going so cheap on eBay. I just had to buy it. Come on. Who the hell packages these things? Any idea what it is? Hello everyone, today's video is about mounting batteries, the bane of an e-bike builder's life. I bought this lovely little Santa Cruz 29er frame, thinking that I might be able to get a battery in there. Now this is my original EM3V battery, it's a Tiger Shark case. And it's quite a small battery, it's the second size up, but it doesn't stand a chance of going in there. I mean, I could start hacking away at the shock mount, but no, that's not a good idea. So I did have this other uh, Halong battery case, which I modified for my old dirt bike, uh, downhill bike, sorry. Yes, I've got a giant hole in the top of it, but uh, what I was going to do was put a battery in with a little bit of space, and I was just going to cover that with tape. <laughs> what a botch merchant. Now, this could fit in if I uh, build my own battery. Or I might just try and get a 10 amp hour 48 volt battery in there, or even a 36 volt. I used a backpack battery for my original downhill e-bike, but uh, if there's loads of disadvantages, mainly the thing moving around in your backpack unbalances you. It's a pain in the ass having to constantly connect it, and also the battery overheats inside your backpack. I did a big climb in Wales, and it was actually too hot to touch the battery. Oh my god! Okay then, to get the Halong 15 amp hour battery in the new wobbly bike frame, it won't go in. You haven't got the space to clip it in place. What I've done is I've turned the mount around so that you push it up rather than down to get it in place. And obviously what I've had to do is mount the battery at the bottom. And you can see that I've made a right little botch to the case with a bit of metal and a hole. But it actually works well because once you tighten the rather than half screw, which I'm using at the moment. It squeezes the battery up against the top frame, gets rid of all the wobble. I'll be replacing all the mounts with proper um, rivet threads. Um, I'm gonna have to buy a few, drill a bigger hole. But it works, and it works quite well. Well, it did when I put a proper screw in. Of course, all the weight is on this bottom screw, so I'm gonna have to obviously Make it a lot more sturdy than it is, and it did let me down on a ride. Of course, I've just thrown it together and the wife goes, can you come down and make a video of my running club on the beach? It was pissing down with rain, the battery wasn't very well mounted, but I set off anyway. Went over a few bumps to test it, but I didn't realise it had come loose until I set the bike down. But to be honest, it was actually alright. It just sort of rep sat on the shock and didn't fall out. I just sort of used my legs to hold it in place. This battery is actually the original one that I used on my downhill bike in the backpack. The one that got too hot to touch. It's amazing what they can put up with. I mean, it's probably a bit knackered now, but it's, uh, it's uh, two years old, I think. Constant use. Quite impressed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next week.